There's no doubt that nature is full of beautiful things and terrifying things all at the same time. I mean, right now we have these murder bees. What is nature? If people didn't find beauty in nature, there wouldn't be botanical gardens in just about every major city, boasting the bright colors and unique shapes that nature has to offer. But did you guys know there's even a garden dedicated to the creepiest and deadliest plants known to man? Well, it just goes to show you that no matter what mother nature creates, humans are going to be fascinated by it. I know I've been pretty intrigued. Well, what's happening, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon, do not scare me. And welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. So before we get started with this one, let me know where you guys are from in the comment section below i'm curious to see where you are from around the world and if you guys are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification i think we're closing in on 7 million of you guys which is absolutely insane all right let's get right into this video this is the top 10 scary plants you won't believe First up on this list, in at number 10, we have the bleeding tooth fungus. Do I really need to explain this one? I think the name itself is self-explanatory. One look at this fungus and you'll really understand immediately why this is on the list. This little white mushroom has pores that oozes a thick red liquid, making it look like as if it's like bleeding. This mushroom isn't poisonous, despite its disgusting and unsettling appearance, but apparently it tastes like a bitter pepper, so maybe we shouldn't start eating this plant. Filling our number 9 slot, we have Voodoo Lily. This flower can range in color from a peachy pink to a deep burgundy, and it can grow up to 9 feet tall. While the plant itself can be beautiful, well, I wouldn't recommend you guys get too close to it, because it gives off a scent of a rotting corpse. Apparently, the stench helps to attract flies and bugs to aid it in its pollination. It's also apparently edible as well. But just because you can eat it, doesn't mean you should eat it. <laughs> Our next up number eight is one that you may have already heard of, and we're talking about the belladonna, also referred to as the deadly nightshade. Literally every single part of this plant is poisonous to some degree. Eating just a tiny amount of its leaves or sweet juicy berries can be fatal to humans, and even touching it can irritate the skin. But despite all of that, it's actually used in a lot of medicines today. It's used as eye drops at the autometrists to dilute your eyes. And it can also allegedly help with inflammation, colds, sore throats, and more. It's usually safe to use if prescribed by a doctor if it's done properly, but it isn't FDA regulated, so I wouldn't recommend randomly self-medicating with this deadly nightshade. I mean, come on, the name itself is uh, something you should avoid. Deadly nightshade? Are you kidding me? And at number seven, we have a Montrupo uniflora, or let's just call it the ghost plant. This is one type of plant that does not need or even want sunlight to grow. I mean, who are you? It gets its name because it's pale white color and it's hunched over appearance. It often grows in clusters, so it can look like a gathering of sad ghosts. Due to its lack of chlorophyll, it thrives in dark forests, which it can grow amongst rotting leaves and dead tree trunks and when you pick it up it almost immediately turns black coming to number six we have the octopus stinkhorn i mean i'm not the one naming these people okay so technically this one is a fungus and not a plant but it's also too creepy looking not to include on this list when it starts growing it has seven reddish arms that are connected at the ends which slowly spread apart into sorts of like these twisty tentacle things and it has these dark green stuff called the gleba on it. When it's fully grown, this fungi, much like the voodoo lily that we talked about, it smells like rotting flesh. Next up, number five is the snapdragon. I'm sure a lot of you guys might have heard of this one. When this plant is alive and vibrant, its colorful petals resembles the head of a dragon, hence the name snapdragon. But when it dies and dries out, the withered remains reveal what looks like to be a skull. Is this real life right now? And it has gaping holes where the eyes and mouth would normally be on a person or dragon. The stark contrast in its two different forms made it resemble deception and presumption in the Victorian era. It isn't poisonous or anything, but I feel like it looking like a skull must mean that it has some pretty bad vibes attached to it. And at number four, we have a plant with a name that makes my stomach turn a bit. Okay, who are we kidding? It makes my stomach turn more than just a bit. Well, this plant we're talking about is called the devil's guts plant. This plant is a type of vine and is pretty much the definition of a parasitic. It's thin, a leaf the stems spread and grow and wrap themselves around any other plants in their way, strangling them and stealing their nutrients, just killing them off killing off the competition. They're so invasive that you can find them forming entire blankets over top of other plants. They can even transmit diseases between one plant to another, which makes it easier for them to feed off of them. Taking number three slot is the dragon's blood tree. 
yes, there's another plant that bleeds or rather looks like it's bleeding. This tree gets its name from the crimson red sap that oozes out of its trunk. Yeah, remember the tree of death from Johnny Depp's movie Sleepy Hollow? It was a little bit ago. It was, it was years ago. Well, it kind of looks like that. That's what it reminds me of. This sap apparently can act as an anti-inflammatory though, and the dye that it has, it has been used in lipsticks and other makeup products as well. The sap even allegedly has magical properties and has been used to improve spells used in rituals. Number two slot goes to the black bat flowers. This creepy looking whiskered flower, believe it or not, belongs to the same family that yams come from. Yeah, I'm talking about like those sweet potatoes. This plant gets its name from its large dark colored leaves that resembles the wings of a bat and long branches sticking out of it looking like a bat's whiskers. Regardless of if you're scared of bats, it is a bit disconcerting for a flower to look like it could be hanging upside down in a cave. And closing off this list, in at number one, we have the angel's trumpet. This one sounds kind of triumphant and beautiful, right? Well, you'd be absolutely wrong. While it is a beautiful plant with large hanging yellow, white, or pink flowers, Exposure to any part of it is anything but lovely. It can cause dramatic side effects including migraines, diarrhea, confusion, hallucinations, paralysis, and even death. Some people take their chances and drink tea made from its leaves though. I don't know why, but maybe because of its hallucinogenic properties. I mean, think about it. I mean, I think I'm just gonna pass on this one, and you know what? I'm not a tea drinker. And it might be for this reason. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 scary plants you won't believe. Which one of these did you guys find the most unsettling? Let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what videos we should make next. I was your host, Landon Do Not Scare Me. And I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.